Okay. Hopefully. We get to this project super gate thing here. Yes, yes, yes. Commander, the aliens continue to make that's progress fine, on the Avatar fine. project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Don't worry, Central. Okay, let's see what this thing does. <coughs> to do this but you're the only one who can pull this off you know I'd go myself if I could the gateway is primed is the subject prepared ready I hardwired what was left of the codex brain into rover it should be emitting the same signal the codex used to pass through the gateway excellent not poor rover someone not integral to the story at all until this point We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. I don't even think Rover was mentioned in any of the side conversations. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through. Okay? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Whoa! Are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power! It doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps wow. this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. That is definitely not fine, Doctor. The process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. Am I standing there for that video or no? We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. Ooh, let's do I that then. That we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. <clears throat> oh, we killed it. Let's, uh... Oh, there's another upgrade. I already have a psionic gate. No, no, no. I guess that. Do that one. This creature represents a near perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished. Perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. Found our avatar. Uh, uh, okay. So now, what do we do for four days? Well, I guess we get some intel, hopefully. Or not. Well, this should be a boring. Uh, ooh. Oh, what should we train you to do? Yeah. Take over an enemy, that sounds useful. It won't there be we easy, go. But I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. 
Commander. Oh, he's the commander. Central. The Shadow Chamber Oops. has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. This does not sound we like a good idea. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new Avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way. By manipulating the new Avatar, via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That would be me. That would be me. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Yeah, most likely attempt to face not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. This specimen, this being, is something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevail. Well, it's because our troops are awesome, that's why. So, what the hell am I supposed to do? Commander Greetings, Project. Commander. Projects here? No, okay. Despite the unexpected outcome of our tests on the alien psionic gate, I firmly believe the experiment itself was absolutely critical to our future operations. We now understand exactly how the gateway functions and what will be required should we attempt to pass through. Still, I must admit, I do feel some regret over the damage done to Shen's gremlin, even if it is only a machine. Oh, come on, Doctor Man, you're heartless. Priority oh, oh, there message we go. for the commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. 
Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth. Before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. Ooh. Well, he's not dead. He's important. New objective added. Yay. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Just a little. Just a little. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. What's this intel option? I've never had that before. Nine enemies and they... Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Pretty useful. I've never had that before, but uh, this is an important one. Yeah, oh, what the hell? That's bad, man. Commander, once we move on the Advent Network Tower, it's all or nothing. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should only deploy once we're fully prepared. Oh. Oh yeah, let's uh <laughs> let's save it. <laughs> Don't want to have an accident now. I didn't blow up all the uh, I guess I didn't have to. Whoa, okay. Let's try this. No no no, go back over. Gotta click the right buttons. Now we can start. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. Okay, here we go. We're going to infiltrate the Advent Network Tower. We'll have to use a smaller squad. Try to draw less attention to ourselves than we already do. Oh. Very well, then. Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah. Okay. Go regular, my, my ultimate sniper. It's difficult, but all right. Well, with these three, we should be okay. Take over, Russian sniper, man, sniper man, and Doc McStuffins. <coughs> Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Hopefully, I have more than three turns to do this. Would be rather convenient. down for the count. This will be a two-pronged assault. First, we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network before the speaker finishes his latest broadcast. Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. With that Advent in an uproar, we'll access the portal and take the fight to their front door. If all goes well, they won't even see us coming. It's risky, but it's the best shot we'll get. Once we start this, there's no turning back. Uh, I don't think it's it's risky. It's, yeah, it ain't gonna work. Move to infiltrate the network tower. Locate the 
access point and hack in to seize the broadcast signal. How many turns do I have? How many turns do I have? Oh, sweet. Yeah, get, get over here. Roll you have a sniper rifle. Right You're useful. Overwatch. Got it covered. Oh, three people, this is scary. Scanning. And there's nine of them. Oh, that's where you're gonna give a speech from. Well, no wonder they're gonna be pissed. I'm all over it. Well, let's not smash his windows. Moving out. Come get some. Shh. I think I heard something. I think you heard something I'm on too. It. Nine enemies, big ones. On your order. Overwatch. Hostiles on the move. On Overwatch. <laughs> Where's the thing I need to get to? Way over there. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> well... Take out the codex. That's right. Septopod. 
Man, this was a really good idea to climb this tower. Only the best! I forgot about that. As long as I keep shooting them from up top, I'll be okay. <laughs> mm. Yes. We should take over this evil robot of death and charge it forward. That could be fun. Let's try it. <coughs> they won't let us have more than three people. We'll make a fourth. Make her go home. Acid isn't going to have a walking path.
probably don't care if he dies. Upstairs we go. Come get some. Boy, they blew one hell of a hole in. Ooh, this thing is awesome. I need to make these more often. Free reload here. Extended magazine. We'll move up On and reload. I kinda hope they kill him this turn. Choice, heal him, please. Healer mode.
clone. Take out the original. I think that thing can shoot based on uh, taking one over finally. So let's, let's drop this on him as he comes around the corner. Doesn't matter, good. What'd you expect? Well, typically you kill everything in sight. Reload. It's killing time. Four. Heal him. Heal bot coming through. Heal him, heal him, heal him. <laughs> All right. Um, move up a little bit. I'm on the move. something locked and loaded I'm gonna stick you more in the middle sure thing that's one of their transmitters they didn't put a whole lot of effort into disguising the alien tech involved the design may be a function of the network itself the amount of psionic energy filtered through that system is beyond measure Like that's all it needed to do. Fifty-two. 
So it's over there. On the move. as you can. There. On my way. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Back in. Overwatch. Overwatch. We're gonna hold position. <clears throat> This I'll thing and shot. find out what happens. That, that's fine. Well, that was it. I was I was sure there was going to be more than that. Okay. Very well. Ooh, here we go. Nice video. Fire 
Firebrand has cleared the perimeter, sir. Meeting limited resistance. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens. I don't like this guy. For 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders, because we believe a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief, has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease, to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us, today! Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. Yeah, that ain't gonna look too good for him. All right. Mission success. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Damn right. Oh, we got some research. We got something to do. Hooray! Commander. Let's. let's. Oh God! Friggin' no until what we might find on the other side of that gateway. But to some degree, I envy our soldiers as they step through what could very well be a portal to another world. They are as much explorers as they are soldiers, mm -hmm. and our fate rests with them. Yep. All right. Well, we'll see. Advent is not taking uh. the death of an elder lightly, and in turn, have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. He already said that. Alright. So it looks like we don't have anything to do here, you know? Okay. I await your orders. Yeah, Commander. do something. Oh wait, yeah, intel. Duh, I just did it. Alright. Well, we will save it and uh, collect some intel. Do that research. Blow up some things next time. Thanks for watching, and take care.